Hey everyone, it's Sara from HDD Broker. Uh, looks like it's uh, about 9.30 right now. I am uh, just finished up packing up my gear. Um, Carl will be here in about half hour. Uh, I just started basically sitting here thinking about some stuff I'll be doing. Um, you know, I'm getting, I'm starting to get a little nervous. I, uh, you know, started getting a little nervous yesterday, but tonight, or this morning, I started thinking about, man, this is, we're going to actually be there in the middle of the night and then on the wild life. Uh, you know, so, but, you know, it, it should be fun. It should be exciting. Um, I should have more, hopefully, more video for you guys in the middle of the night. Uh, and I'll keep an account of, uh, of some of the stuff we did and uh, the meetings and stuff that uh, we'll go over on some of the survival stuff. Uh, keep watching and uh, talk to you soon. Signing out. So, what exactly is the nocturnal race? The Nocturnal Challenge is an event hosted by Pangea Adventure Racing. This event took place in the Tossahatchee Preserve just outside of Orlando, Florida. The race consists of four major elements. Biking, canoeing, ziplining, and of course hiking through the wilderness. Participants are given a map and it's up to them to plot the best way through the forests and swamps to secure a series of markers as quickly as they can. Cesar's teammate has extensive experience in orienteering and will hopefully keep him on track through the long night. One down. Now we're really going to have to look close because on, once we get on this one, we hit all the other points. 29, 31, 32, 34, 38, we, have to, we can hit all of them. So we need to kind of... Okay. we got to go back. What do you think? Yeah, but we can hit them all at the same time. I mean, that's probably the best thing so we can get the more points, you know? Yeah, but we got to hit this one right here at 28. we got to find how to get to 28. Where are we at right now? So we're going to have to cross this. <laughs> so it looks like we uh, we found the second marker, but we're trying to establish which one it is to make sure we know where we're at exactly. Uh, so we're just reviewing the map right now. A lot of water, lot, everyone can about the water, a lot of rain. We just went through a big forest basically of nothing. I managed to have my, my legs are, are all cut up and I feel like jello. So we're at uh, market 33. It's starting to get dark and uh, you can hear the alligators around us. Uh, yeah, big gators there, uh, Carly just saying. Okay. We still got a lot to go, so uh, we're going to keep on moving. Looks like we, uh, we made it to our first uh, watering hole. Uh, just uh, gearing up a little bit more, getting some water and uh, you know, catching our breaths and uh, getting some food. Uh, it's 10 o'clock right now, according to Carlo, so uh, we've been moving quick. Uh, mostly lost to a lot of wilderness. Uh, Carlo, how do you think it's going, man? Uh, I think we're doing pretty good. We're getting about, what, seven or eight points now. We got two more on the bike, and uh, then we got to go hit the uh, the water. So, the we get out of these bikes, the better. The mosquitoes are killing us. It's not too bad. All right, guys, well, there you have it. Uh, we're going to keep on pushing, and uh, hopefully find as many markers as we can before the time runs out. Setting out. Hey everyone, Cesar uh, signing in. It's uh, 1.33 in the morning and it looks like sleep deprivation and uh, my lack of experience on a bike has really kicked my butt. <laughs> Carlo was awesome though. He can go, he'd probably do three more, uh, but uh, I'm 
Calling it quits. Um, I'll have more picks on what, what we did and uh, stuff like that uh, to come. Keep checking in on our website, toughbroker.com, and hope to talk to you soon. Bye.